what I'm doing here is making the stinning the deck. I got my post hole there and my post hole there. And what I'm doing is making the box right here. I'm going to put a, a joist. Put it on exactly on top of the other ones. I make a joist every 16 inches just for me to screw the decking down. And it's going to go all the way to here. And I'm going to build it mostly up there. And then I'll set it up on buckets, level it up. And then I'll have the posts suspended about 3 inches from the bottom of the hole. That way I can get concrete underneath them because I like to do that. And that will be stretched all the way to right here at this corner. And then we can start on the deck that goes in between. And my goal for today is at least get the this part framed out and the post set. And maybe I can start on this section too. Alright, we got it up here and I got this leveled. We're going to drag it out here carefully. I'm going to screw it to that deck. I'm going to put some fake legs on it while I'm leveling up the post holes and everything. Do this, which I didn't prop it on, but it's going to be neat. All right, I got my post. If you notice, I've notched it, so it's the it's actually sitting here. And that there's a good reason for that is uh, these posts have to be shared by the other deck that's coming this way from the other building. And so, if I put it uh, just nailed it to, it'd be an inch and a half to the in, inside. And so this way, it'll be right up here against here, and the other uh, joists can go right to it. Gotta be filling up the post holes. Probably gonna do a bag and a half each. So it'll be uh, 120 pounds per hole of cement. We got our post set. Everything is level, as you can see there. Um, I got a hole here. I got that post, and I got two other holes there. Got these blocks right here to sit it on. I went ahead and fabricated it up here. I didn't put in the uh, every 16 inches pieces yet. The stringers, because that'd make it way too heavy to move. And they put these scrap pieces with it in the corners, kind of keep it from shaking apart. And so we're going to pick this up and put it in place, level it, and start putting the stringers in it and uh, doing the post. It's all been made level. And the uh, decking's just low enough, it'll go right underneath that um, door jam, or actually seal, or whatever. So, uh, doing the final bag of cement right here. We don't got any more cement for this post up there, I'll have to go buy some tomorrow. And some decking. Concrete, Concrete. Concrete. So we're almost done. Well, with the framing part anyway, I still gotta frame out a section here. Well, I got some more decking done. You can see, this is only like a month old. It's already got a bend in it from the sun and it's already turned color. So this is the new part. And uh, at this point on, I gotta cut off the slack. That's what I'm about to do. I'm gonna set up a camera. Cut this really pale blue line because my chalk line is uh, got moisture in it. So. got a chance to film the finished deck as you can see nice and large I have a barbecue out here and the ash is staying the deck a little bit so what I need to do is I need to pressure wash this whole thing really well and stain it and seal it I'll probably do that soon I don't know but uh this section here 
larger section is actually uh, 16 by 8 maybe a little bit more this one is 16 by 6 get a better angle of that Sixteen by six. These stairs, when I made them, um, I just traced another riser I had. I bought a riser. I was like, I'm not gonna do all that math. I'm just gonna trace this one. Well, that riser was for two by twelves, and I had two by tens, so there's a gap. So all I need to do is replace the risers. I mean, the stairs themselves. I used uh, the scrap lumber I had from cutting these pieces, these stringers, and so that's why I, yeah. I don't feel too bad about it because it was already scrap wood and it was already the same size, so I just used it, so it's alright. I need to um, put an elbow in this gutter, run it out this way, and then put one of those uh, corrugated plastic black pipes on that. And pu put a bunch of holes in it and run it out in the yard. But I never really had too much of a problem with it. We haven't had rain in a while. So yeah, we're good. I uh, actually get more water from this. This AC unit here, um, it could fill up a 5 gallon bucket once every 12 hours so it stays wet around here because I don't you know I should walk it out there and dump it but I usually don't but uh, this connects it to the barn building it's pretty good no more walking in the mud to get to the barn building uh, it's pretty good I like it I really need to pressure wash it and uh, stain it but uh, other than that it's a good deck nice size anyway